Today, Monday, October 21, 2024, after Xi Jinping, ruler of China, ended his army's military organization off the coast of Taiwan, Jinping announced today directly to his expanding Chinese military that war is imminent. The following passage is the first chapter of a fictional setting mixed with headlining news and current research news on how China's future war with Taiwan will unfold into World War III based on current news, past news and trends, and researched information. Nico had been in the game too long after surviving three decades in a dozen different professions of war, and he knew it. Once it was a smooth hustle, a game joining the winning side and scoring a large bag of loot for a swift victory. But in the current volatile state of igniting world conflict, a mercenary's easy gamble in return for a great reward had changed dramatically. No longer could Nico sling jokes about his past wars against the ruling class in small countries oppressing the human rights of the working class people, such as recently when he fought in an underground war with Canadian truckers against an agent of globalism, the CSIA, Canadian Security Intelligence Agency. When offered the chance to battle the world's greatest globalist powers, Nico had been filled with righteous rage as he jumped on an old Iron Eagle from the 80s to fly across seas. His metal bird flew unmolested amongst metallic hawks that jetted above his outdated chopper, with supersonic speed that shook him with a thunderous boom. Below the echoing hum of the Iron Eagle, silver vessels weaved in circular patterns, cutting white tides into the crystal blue canvas surrounding China's diamond, the precious zinc-producing jewel of Asia known as Taiwan. In 2023, EVs accounted for 38% of new car sales in China compared to 18% globally. China's EV market is the largest in the world. Nico crouched behind a brick wall, one of many barriers surrounding one of many zinc refining factories. Within the hum of the factory's inner walls, a small army of skilled professionals produce the compound materials needed in semiconductor chips. The chips are responsible for Taiwan's domination of the semiconductor market, accounting for 60% of global foundry revenue, revenue that China considers its own. On October 21, 2024, the ruler of China urged millions of Chinese troops to prepare for a war, a war for an island that most Chinese already considered a part of their country. Nico had become part of the so-called axis of evil that China and Russia led, the third axle forged from the mutual alliance of North Korea and Iran. Nico despised communists, but while he bitterly disliked Russia for its communism, he agreed with the Russian government's promotion of strong families, Jesus or Muhammad, and healthy masculinity. Nico returned his senses to the dark zinc refining factory he had snuck into three nights ago, hiding near a mapped out false wall, awaiting his mark, a corporate zinc factory shareholder on the recently besieged island of Taiwan. Like Nico's departed mother had once worked, the unskilled laborers in the zinc factory worked without purpose, without hope of owning home or land on Taiwan. They worked with lowered heads beneath the oppressive eyes of Cyclopean cameras, with spying microphones listening to their every word with a globalist's fear and paranoia of the unpredictable working class. When the owner of Taiwan's largest zinc-producing factory pushed past the false wall beside Nico, the old mercenary knew he could finally unleash his righteous violence on the despised globalist. Nico unraveled the image of the sinful factory boss, reading a passage he had wrote beneath the image, Isaiah 58, 3-7, to observe religious practices, but oppress your workers is false worship. Nico heard approaching footfalls. He prayed quietly to his mother's spirit. She had worked her body so hard she had suffered a slow and agonizing death for a soulless globalist boss. Like the factory boss, the boss of Nico's mother paid her enough to rent, robbing her of hope for a home to own. Nico whispered to his mother's spirit, James 5, 1 through 6, Those who become rich by abusing their workers have sinned against God. I shall avenge your suffering on earth with the death of another globalist, my selfless mother. As the false door opened, Nico sprang up, clamping his hand across the small man's mouth. Nico glared into terror-filled eyes before pushing his curved knife's edge across his throat with a rough tug. The warm blood of a sinner filled his life with a moral purpose again.